Hey everyone, Michael V here, professional cheese sprayer, part-time chicken sexer, interdimensional puppet wrangler, second-tier totalist, grandmaster of the Oxford comma, and, that's right, host of the Radical Humanist podcast. Listen, I recently had a conversation with a, uh, let's just call him a newly re-emerged artist out of San Francisco. I asked him why, now, at 45 years old, did he decide to pursue his passion for art? His response was, why not? He went on to explain that he wasn't doing it for money or prestige and didn't care if anyone ever thought he was a true artist. The label or the reaction to his art wasn't important. It was the doing of the thing. If people liked it, great. If not, well, that's just fine too. And it got me thinking about these videos in the Radical Humanist podcast. You see, on the show, we directly answer hate mail or letters from people who write in with criticisms. In that arena, in the one where I espouse the importance of authenticity, I think it's important to be as honest with yourself and your detractors. I can't preach purity if I pretend everybody loves everything I say and do. Then I'm just full of shit. But in real life, away from the digital space, I give my critics exactly zero attention. Why? Because fuck them, that's why. Look, there's two proverbs I usually try to incorporate into my life as much as possible. The first is comparison is the thief of joy. And the second is never let someone else's opinion become your reality. Never sacrifice who you are because someone else has a problem with it. Do you know what the number one reason most people don't follow a particular passion is? It's fear. Fear of judgment, fear of critiques. Fear of being put in the spotlight and under a microscope by their peers and given an unnecessary finger-wagging once-over. Side-eye criticisms and unasked opinions have crushed more dreams than honest failure ever will. Do you think when I started all of this, the podcast, the post, these videos, do you think everyone that knows me or knew me was on board? I mean, do you think everyone understood what this was and why I was doing it? No, not at all. In fact, most people still don't get it. And that's fine. I don't do this for them. Nor do I expect them to understand the motivation that's behind it or its, its significance. Therefore, why the fuck should I care what they think? The only person's approval I really need is my own. Are my intentions true? Are they real? Am I being honest with myself? In my case, fucking yeah, I am. And so the people that are meant to find their way to these messages will. And that's all that matters. The artist paints because he has an innate need to create. The writer writes, the musician plays. Those who feel the need to express themselves do, for no other reason than to give in to the, the desires that are being fueled by passion. And if you're one of those people, why wouldn't you? Because your friends don't understand? That's fucking ridiculous. There's always going to be people that don't get you. And that's fine, there's nothing wrong with them, and there's nothing wrong with you. I believe we are all fundamentally connected on a conscious level, but that doesn't mean we're all the same. Every branch has different leaves, yet they're all part of the same tree. And look, maybe you want to do something, but you don't think you're ready yet. That's okay too. When your desire to do the thing exceeds your expectation of return, then you're ready to move forward. And that goes for life and love and is a direct line to the pursuit of your happiness. In other words, fuck it. Do the thing because you want to do the thing. Don't get hung up on other people and what they say or think, and don't use the old, well, I'll show them, as your motivation. Spite is a terrible catalyst for change. The only reason you'll ever need to move forward into achieving a goal no matter what it might be, is because you want to and not because other people think you can't or worse, think you shouldn't. Nobody gets to live your life except you. Nobody walks in your shoes. Nobody lives in your head and nobody gets to own your truth. So be you. Be authentically you. Hit the ground running. Don't make excuses. Don't apologize. And do what you feel you should. Got it? Good. Now get the fuck out there and do it. Thanks for watching.